So we are currently chip leading the 525 bounty builder on a Monday night. Um, I really would not mind a shove here. Um, we got an obvious C bet here with the eights. Generally, this sort of board when you know we've got second pair, you want to go for like smaller sizings. There's no point really going too big here with the eights. Um, when he calls, I think again, I'm just gonna, I could check back, but I think I will continue, but just with like a 50% sizing and nice, pick it up. I didn't have my video on, it was on some other tab, but here he bet out and then I decided to lead on the turn and we've got two pair. I am slightly worried about the Jack 10, but I obviously with the two pair, I'm literally just gonna shove this for the 1K bounty. Obviously, if he calls now, I think we're almost definitely gonna be ahead. I mean, surely he'd snap off like king, queen, you'd think. So I opened for three BBs, he just called, and then I checked, he bet out, I called, and then I decided to go for a lead on the turn, and then obviously we hit the two pair on the river, Go for the shove, yeah, King Jack, nice. Huge, 1K bounty, and now that's gonna, so we have actually dropped down to fourth, but that's definitely gonna put us right back into first. Huge bounty we pick up there, which is nice. Well, I am actually really gutted. I've literally just put on record. Um, I've been filming, like just talking to myself for the last like, hour or so, whatever not realizing that i stopped the recording um at least i've got the final table footage which is a good thing but yeah i've missed um i missed out a lot of play here which i'm a bit gutted about because I've been making some nice plays and stuff um you know what he's gonna have some like jacks and stuff here so i'm actually gonna size up nice Oh, that would have been hell of a river, a jack, but we would have made a flush. And jack is something he could have had, especially when we blocked the nine. King, queen, pretty good hand to have in the big blind. Hope to get a fold from this player, obviously. I'd rather be battling with these. Oh. Goes for 3.6 open. Uh, I mean, I can't fold king, queen. But yeah, that's a um, bit of a weird open. I think I still check this one. Again, I think I check. We still have some showdown. Do I call if he bets? I don't know. What's he open? It's like 3.6 open. And then he's just checked back on a 4 6 jack fly. Really strange hand that one, but I'm, I'm not calling 7 being blinds on the river there. Oh, Kings. Nice, let's not lose this hand. I've had some terrible, terrible final table luck recently and just generally tournaments. So obviously I don't show it because I upload videos where I'm doing well, but uh, possible I could just shove this one, but Kings is a little bit strong. You know, I, he's never doing that sizing with aces, surely. He hasn't folded. I. <laughs> Don't want to be going all in against this big stack like when there's all these shorter stacks around like i just not confident of winning even with kings like <sighs> king jack oh easy open and i guess we'd have to call either of these for the bounty about to say don't want to get three bet because king jack off is just a hand where you know i can't just call with king jack off Really good flop, got mid pair, and also got the jack, jack diamonds for some, some reassurance. I guess just go for three big blinds here. Yeah, not sure what he had. Maybe he just had like a 10 of diamonds or something in that spot. Ooh, queen jack suited. I don't think it's strong enough to um, to shove. I think at a final table, I can just call this and it will get through most of the time because when I just flat, you know, I'm gonna have some, some traps with some real strong hands. And again, I wouldn't necessarily mind, you know, getting 
call from this, but when we've got so many short stacks at the table, I don't want to be shoving and then this guy just waking up with like ace, queen, ace, king and just calling. It's whether I just call, whether I raise to 10 as this, yeah, I think I'll raise this one to 10 because this guy may just call from the big blinds with some weaker hands. Nice, we get a fold from the big stack. That's what we wanted. And obviously I would have to call this off now um with the odds but it's unlikely he's shoving much of the time oh what a flop come on please no nah, if we don't get there after this flop that would be such a tease damn we're not getting there we are getting there <laughs> wow okay finally some run good let's go I was going to say, that would be hell of a tease if they gave us that dream flop with the, the Queen Jack suited and then just didn't end up getting there. But being the chip leader, I am going to start opening hands like Queen 7 suited. And I'm going to have to call this one off, obviously. Yeah, happy to see something like that, really. Just don't want to be, like, dominated. Okay, so obviously, um, looks like we're going to lose that one. Yeah, definitely lost now because can't hit the queen but oh well it's not a huge pot that we've lost we see an all-in from the short stack i think it's pretty likely we'll see a call here like it's quite unlikely for eight big blinds and the bounty that this one's going to fold round yeah big blind calls ace 10 eight oh eight's quite strong hand i think i'd like to see this one hold actually it's not like as bounties go the biggest and i kind of want to pay jump uh just the ace obviously as the 10 is diamond h does hold only thing is now this guy is starting to take a big chip lead but i'm still in second place but obviously there's no like real short stacks around at the moment as he opened quite small we'll call the suited hand I guess probably, I mean, I, I could like bluff raise this one, but I'm just gonna go for the call. This just seems like it's just never a bluff. Like it could, I don't know. I feel like he's just, in theory, I feel like this should be a call, but I just feel like he's milking me here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for a tight check back, a tight fold. Ace of diamonds means that I'll definitely be betting this one. Diamond turn would be really nice. And I'd definitely continue to barrel, but yeah, I mean, I think I will continue still with this turn actually, because, you know, eight comes, make this, we got some like decent blockers and stuff. Diamond river means that I could definitely shove. It's good backfire though if he just ends up like shoving now because it's gonna put us on the short stack. Oh. oh, I think I've just gotta go for this one. This is a horrible spot. I wanted a diamond river to be honest to be shoving, but this is a river card where I feel like I probably do have to go for it. He's not snap called, which is good. This is pretty nervy. Because this is going to, well, it's not putting us out of the tournament, but it will put us on a really small stack. Yes, that's huge. With the queen, diamond river, I'd have probably shoved almost always. But yeah, quite a lot of our hands, which we barrel the turn with, get there. You know, some king tens and he's, ooh. Jack seven, ace eight. Looks as though it's gonna hold. And it does. So four people left now. That means we are up to 11, so it's 11K. It's prize for fourth place. And we've got, you know, that bluff has really transferred, like that was a huge bluff to make and it's completely transformed our final table. If I'd have given up, I'd have been left, been short a stack. Yeah, I bet that guy must be gutted now. He obviously, I bluffed him off whatever he had and then he just goes out next hand. 
Really good flop. Just gonna go for a small bet though. Definitely gonna barrel the turn. He's gonna have some some eight sixes and stuff like that. Uh, seven, eight, whatever. Nice. Perhaps maybe a limp might have been better here because he's gonna be shoving quite a lot. And obviously King six suited has some good showdown and stuff, but I can't be calling it all in. Yeah. Flop would have been awful anyway. This is weird. We have top pair, but I don't like the fact there's a lot of diamonds. Okay. That's a really nice turn though. Definitely gonna bet now. Five four suited. Guess we all. It's quite a good flop. Would have liked to have some clubs on board though. Guess we just call. <sighs> Not a fan of this, but he's gonna still have some some air bluffs. Come on, that is hell of a uh, river card. <sighs> Do I shove or what? I don't even know whether shoves. Yeah, I, I think I got a shove. Nice. Well. King Queen gonna be going for this one. 3k bounty. I think this is mandatory. I don't like the way he snaps there. I feel like he's got something strong. Yeah. Come on, let's get some run good. Heart. King! Yes! Come on. Okay. Imagine me celebrating like that and then they uh the one one out comes. That's huge. Wow. Finally, a final table where I'm running good. This feels great. It's been a long time, been a long time, but I cannot complain at the way I've run here. Now I'm chip leader. Wow, I've locked up 13k in bounties. If I go on to win this tournament, this could be a huge win, but I'm not going to jinx it yet because still got a long way to go, but we got a nice score regardless anyway. Mm. Yeah, I think with the bounty, a shove is fine. Not loving it though, because it would put us way back down into third if he calls, and we lose obviously. He has not folded yet, but he's not snapped. So it's not good, but it's not awful. Nice. Wow, that's a really nice flop. I think if he calls, I'm going to check shove. Come on, have jack 10 or something like that. I don't know, have whatever. Ooh, ace jack. <laughs> Gonna go for another 3x raise, but this time I'm snapping this one off. Jav. Come on. Yes. Come on. Ace nine. Come on, just hold. No! Oh, that's. That's so sick. Can't believe that. Oh, that would have just put us in such a good spot. That is just gutting. <sighs> I knew that was gonna come. <sighs> I don't think I can go for this. He is gonna have some nines, but. <sighs> yeah, okay. I would have just cleared up these two bounties and then won the tournament. Like This could have been like a 60k score, I think. It is what it is, I guess. He should be calling me quite loosely here. So I wouldn't necessarily mind a call when we got Ace. Right, I think just got to shove this one when we're against these bigger stacks. Ace 8 is strong enough. Oh, I don't like the fact that he snaps it though. Ugh. Come on, give me some justice now. Man. It's a good score, obviously. Did run well at the final table, but it's just the final hurdle again, but I'm happy with that score, obviously. Yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe, obviously.